Hey boys and girls, wow, it feels like so long since we've all been together, right? So long. One of the things I miss just so much is hearing you all sing and worship Jesus together. Do you miss that too? Oh my goodness, some of those songs we would sing like, my God is so great, so strong and so mighty. And what else did we used to sing? Um, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting already. I'm going to send you a list of songs that your mom and dad could find on YouTube and you could look them up and worship Jesus together in your own home. I wish I could hear you though. Maybe you can get a video and send it to me. That would be amazing. So since we're not singing together today, let's jump in to our lesson. We're going to learn about messages. Now I have a couple messages I'm going to show you and you may have seen these um, somewhere in your world out and about. The first one is this. What is it? A stop sign, that's right. Now when you see this message, what does it tell you to do? Stop quickly, that's right. What happens if we ignore the message and we disobey it? What could happen? Hmm. Did I hear you say there could be crashes or people drive too fast? Yeah, those are good answers. Things that are dangerous could happen if we ignore this message. So some messages are very important, like a stop sign. Here's another kind of message. Hmm, this one looks a little fun and exciting. What do you think it is? A party invitation, a birthday party. This is another kind of a message. What does it tell us? Well, it tells us we're invited to someone's party. That's so fun. Do you like to get messages like this? I sure do. Now, some messages are important, some messages are fun, and we're going to learn about a message in our story that changed someone's life completely. Our Bible story comes from the book of 2 Kings in the Bible. And here's a poster to show you a picture of one of the characters in the story. Next week, we'll look at a picture of a different character. Today, you'll see a picture of a young servant girl. And you can see her here serving the queen some food. And let's start. It says, Naaman was a very important commander in the army. He had won a big war for his king. Naaman had lots of money and a big house with many servants. The servants helped Naaman keep his house clean and serve food to Naaman and his wife. Naaman was very strong and brave, but he was also very sad. Naaman had a disease that made his skin rough and sore. It was called leprosy. He wanted to be healed of, of the disease, but no one knew how to cure him. Naaman's wife had a young servant girl from Israel. The servant girl believed in God, and she knew that God sometimes gave messages to prophets. When you hear the word messages, how about you make your hand like a mouth, kind of like a puppet mouth, and when you hear messages, make your mouth move, because a message can come from our mouth, right? She also knew that God sometimes gave prophets power to heal people. So one day the servant girl gave a message to Naaman's wife. She said, if only my master Naaman would travel to Samaria and see the prophet Elisha, surely he would be healed. Naaman's wife quickly found Naaman and gave him the message. She said, the young servant girl says there's a prophet in Samaria who can heal you. You must go and see him. Naaman was excited when he heard the message, but Samaria was far away in the country of Israel. Naaman decided he better ask the king if he could travel there. So he went to the king and asked if he could go to Samaria to see the prophet. The king agreed and said, I'll give you a message to take to the king of Israel. Here's the message. To the king of Israel. And what do you think the king wrote in his message? Hmm, maybe that it was okay for Naaman to go to Israel, 
or maybe that Naaman was a good guy, or that Naaman wanted to get healed from his disease. Let's open it up and see what it says. Okay, what do you think it says? I just love to get mail. It's like opening mail, right? I am sending Naaman so he can be healed. Hmm. And the king opened this letter and he read it and he thought, oh, I, I don't know how to heal him. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Hmm. He was a little confused by the letter. But there was Elisha, the prophet, who also heard this message. And he heard that Naaman wanted to be healed. So he invited Naaman into his house. And when Naaman arrived, Elisha healed him. Just like the servant girl said that he would. The servant girl shared an important message with Naaman. When have you ever shared an important message? Can you think of a time? Hmm, think for a second. Maybe you invited friends to a birthday party or you sent a letter to a friend or to grandma and grandpa. Have you sent a message or ever gotten a message? Now, what would have happened if the servant girl had not had not shared the news about Elisha. What would have happened? You got it. Elisha, Naaman would not have been healed. She, if she had not shared that message, he couldn't have been healed. And so, when we use our mouths and we tell other people news that should be shared, good things can happen, right? Yes. I've been talking a lot. Now I want you to think and talk with your family. What messages do you know about God that you could share with someone you know? Now, I know you've been staying at home a lot and you haven't seen people, but can you think of someone that you might be able to send a card to, send some kind of encouraging note that would just cheer them up and something that would tell them about God? Talk with your family for a little bit. What kind of messages could you send to someone? So, your challenge for the week, think of somebody that you can send a message to. Tell them what you know about God. Brighten their day, maybe you can get out a a colorful card or make your own card and send a message to them. Color a picture for them and send it in the mail. That's something we can do from home. While we're stuck at home, we can still send messages. And you, if you don't write yet, that's okay. You can even tell the message to your mom and dad who could write it down for you. Or you could call someone. That's another way of sending a message. Or do a video chat. All of those are ways that you can share the message about God. Let's get creative and have some fun this week. Bye guys.